In this Vyond tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how you can use Vyond to create whiteboard animation or normal animation videos on your PC. So in this video, I'm simply going to show you step by step how you can create a video and I'm going to show you different styles. So on Vyond, it's not just whiteboard animations, they also have normal animations which can look like this and those are actually pretty cool. So if I just play one of them, you'll see what that looks like. So if I just simply sk uh, skip through, that's kind of like the style, this style you can make as well with Vyond. I'm also going to show you how you can do that. So even though you've never done this before, you're a complete beginner, this is going to be a great video for you. If you appreciate all of this value, please leave a like on the video and then let's just get started. All right, so once you've signed in on Vyond, and by the way, you can get a free trial by simply going to the website, click on free trial and create your account. You can then get started making a video. If you just go to the home page, once you've signed in, you can click on make a video. And then first of all, you're going to have to choose which style you want to go with. So we've got the contemporary one, the business friendly one, and then we've got the whiteboard animation one. First of all, I'm simply going to show you the whiteboard animation, and then I'm also going to show you the normal one. So I'm just going to open these in a brand new tab so that I can show you both of them. So let's just see what we're going to do first. Let's just go with the actual uh, whiteboard animation one first. You can see that it's currently uh, loading the timeline. So for the whiteboard animation, I'm going to go with this one. Now in Vion, they're going to do a quick tour themselves. I'm just going to do it for you. So this is what Vion looks like, and this is where you can start creating your video. Now on Vion, they've got a lot of templates that you can start using. For example, let's say that you're using um, Vion to create whiteboard animation videos in the finance niche. Let's say that you've got a finance YouTube channel. What you can then do is simply click on the finance templates and then you'll see these templates that are available for you. Now let's say that you're making a video about how the finance is um, influencing the economy or um, that, that, that doesn't make sense, but <laughs> you get the point. Let's say you're just doing a story. You can then find clips that match that specific story. For example, if I need a clip about being rich, I can then find this clip right here about, about a vault. And then as you guys can see, if I just skip through this stuff, you can preview your clip there. You will see that this clip will then show up in here. So it's pretty easy to get going and to create a video. Now you can see that this is the intro of the video. Today we're talking about and then it's going to load this clip. So this is the specific clip that I just imported. Now, if you guys click here, you'll see the intro. Uh, I'm currently still in the free trial on this account, by the way. Like if you go ahead and you pay, which I'll get into in a bit, the free trial watermark will disappear. But as you can see, you've got text showing up. So what you can do is click on text and then I'm just going to close this and start customizing the text that shows up here. So for example, if I don't want to say this, but I want to say, welcome back to how to digital, I can then simply type that in here. I can also change the um, size of this box. So if I make this a bit bigger, it's going to show up a little bit nicer, right? So in, in, instead of like three lines, it's going to have two lines, which is a bit better, easier to read as well. So that's how you can pretty much change the text on a Vion video. That is pretty simple. So you simply select it. You can drag it around. You can move it. You can do this if you want to. So I'll leave all of that up to you guys. I'm just trying to show you how you can do it. So it's really easy. You just click, double click, and you can then start customizing the text. So for example, I might want to say subscribe right there. And then right here, you might want to say, leave a like on this video. And that's how you can do it. It's actually pretty simple. Now, apart from that, you can do a lot of different stuff. So you also have these templates. And as you can see, you can even switch between the different styles within a specific video itself. So if you now click on the business friendly one, you can also go with all of these, or you can go with the contemporary one and you've got all of these. Now, next up, if you click here on a specific clip, you can also do it. So as you guys can see, if I now click on the plus scene, I can click on choose a template and there we go. We're now in here, but if you click on these two, so contemporary or business friendly, you'll see that the specific clips will change. So let's say that you want to mix whiteboard animation with normal animation. You can also do that. Let's say that next up, I need a clip about a bank. I can then find that in here. I simply click on it and it's going to show up. Now let's say that you don't like a specific feature 
or a specific part of this video or like the like how do you say that like the image or clip itself you can also change that and you can also change characters you can change the charts and all of that good stuff so for example let's say that i want to make the bank a bit bigger i can undo that i can slide it over here and there we go it's a little bit or oh, let's see at the forefront i'm going to change the bank make that show up here and there we go so all of this is actually customizable as well which is really cool you can even change the background or the sky for example if i click on sky and I want to have a green sky, I can even do that, which is pretty cool. So if you simply go with this, you can also customize the colors and the background itself. If you want a different background, you can click on background, click right here, click locations. If you want a location, you can also go with a pattern and then you can change that. So let's say that you want a theme park in the background of a bank, you can also do that. How awesome is, how awesome is that? So you can customize pretty much everything by using Viant, which is actually really, really cool. I highly rate this as a video animation software. In terms of choosing the clips that you wanna add, you can always search for a specific keyword. For example, if you need, let's say a balloon clip, you simply type in balloon. It's also gonna show up already. You click on it and they'll show you the ones that are available. So for balloon, they've got five results in here. For this one, they've got another five, and then for the contemporary one, they also, no, they have three. So that's how you can pretty much find out these clips. So this one is actually pretty good, a balloon clip, a nice animation. So you would then insert that, and then once again, you can change the colors, the sizes, the text, all of it if you want to, by simply clicking on whatever you want to change. Let's say it's the background, you click on it, you go to color, you can change the color, and there we go, pretty easy. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward as well. Even if you're a beginner, this should be fairly easy to do. So all of this is drag and drop editing. And by doing all of this, you can combine it into one video. Let's get into that part. I quickly opened up a new tab in Beyond and let's show you how we can combine all of these things into an actual video because we're not done yet. I'll show you the basics in terms of changing text, adding clips and all of that. But how do you create an entire video and how do you customize it with text, music, charge, characters, and all of that stuff. So what you can do guys is simply get rid of the first clip if you want to. I'm just gonna scroll through all of these things. There we go. So let's say that you wanna get rid of this clip. You can simply select that, click backspace, and it's gone. Now let's just get started building our first video. Now, as of right now, I'm creating a video about Viand. So let's say that I want to include some animations because Viand is about animations. What you can do is go to, let's say, charge and data. You can then choose a specific clip. Now let's say that I'm gonna start talking about a car topic, right? And I need a car clip about specific stats. What I could do is go with this one or I would type in car and then click right here and you get a ton of clips. This one looks very good. So I'm gonna go with this clip. That would be the first clip in my video. Now let's say that you want this video or this clip to last longer than two and a half seconds. You can slide this over to wherever you want to have this. So let's say that you want this to, have, to fit for four seconds. What you would do is simply do that. If you now click preview, let's see if it's actually gonna um, yep, it's actually gonna play for four seconds. That is awesome. So that's how you can change the length of a video. Once again, if you wanna change the background or whatever it is that you wanna change, click exit preview, select the background itself, or in this case, it's already done. And then let's see, let's make it a, let's make it a purple background or maybe a red one or maybe light blue, I don't know. I kind of like blue the most, so I'll just go with this. So that is pretty much how you can do it, right? And what you would then do is start putting together all of these clips. However, if you don't have audio, how do you know where to put the clips that fit? So what you would do is click upload or you would go with audio. Now for this one, for the audio itself, you would go with audio, of course, and then you can upload your own one if you want to. Now on here, you'll find music. So you can use music. Music is included on Viand, but you can also add audio yourself. If you do mic recording, you can go ahead and pretty much do a recording, a live recording. So if I'll do that right now, I'm gonna have to allow Viand access. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an amazing car that fits for whatever brand. That's just random stuff, guys, don't pay attention. 
But let's say that that is the audio. You can see it's now going to process. And there we go. Mic recording added. Isn't that awesome? So I now have audio in my clip. What I could do is add another scene, click choose template and go with another car scene. So I just have one added as of right now. Now, if I need another one, I might want to go with this one, which is a traffic jam clip. I can then add this on here. And then let's say that I need another one. I simply type in car or maybe you can even type in a brand. I'm not sure. Probably not because that is too limited or that might not be possible because of rights, um, commercial rights. But in that case, we're just going to go with car, choose one of them. I'm going to go with this one. And there we go. We'll already get a lot of few different or like a lot of different templates. And there we go. You can even see like people in the car. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this one is pretty cool. So that's how you can do that. Now, once again, if I want those eight seconds, I can do this. And there we go. I now have an eight second clip already put together within a few minutes. Now, once again, you can upload your own characters, your own um, like audio, music, all of that in the top left corner. For example, if you want your own character, you can click right here or like like actually customize it. What you would do is click create new character. I'm just going to save this real quick, save and go. And it's now going to load up the character creator. This is going to be so cool, guys. So if you go with business friendly, select a body type. I'm going to go with this one. There we go. That is actually pretty cool. So what you can now do is customize the face, hair, mouth, ears, eyes, eyebrows, nose, eyewear, um, all of it, which is pretty awesome, right? Like there's not that many softwares that allows you to do all of this. So if I just go to face, if you click here, you can go with a different shape. You can go with a beard. You can go with a lot of stuff, which is pretty cool. So maybe this one fits the best. You would then go with that. You can change the um, clothing as well. Maybe you would like some like more casual outfit. What you would do is go with this. There we go. If you then go to the, there we go. You can then click on whatever. You get the point. You can customize and create um, your own character. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> like that is honestly an amazing feature. If you then click save in the top right corner, you can go to the Vyond Studio and it's pretty much created your um, character. So if you want to have yourself in these animations, you need to create yourself as a uh, as a character in the character studio. And that's it. You can now use that. Now, this might take a while to load. So I'm just going to quickly continue to the video creator where I was at. So probably uh, need to open that once again. There we go. I'm back. It's now processed. And you can see that if you go to characters, this character is now showing up. And you can then even animate this. You can change the appearance. You can do a lot of stuff. So I would then add myself in the specific clip. Let's say I want to add myself just like this. It then shows up. And once again, if you click on your character, you can do a dialogue, you can do expressions and you can do actions. So isn't that cool? You can even do like movements and stuff. As you can see, checking for a fake bill. This is insane. You can do a lot of good stuff with this, which is also a reason that this actually costs a decent amount of money per month. But as you can see, you can do so many things with this. So if I now preview my clip, in today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing car that fits for whatever brand. Okay, so as you guys can see that audio doesn't make sense, but you can see how put together the clip with me as an own character charging or like no counting money and just adding these clips together. Isn't that awesome? So I've pretty much shown you all of the like good features and the basic features, pretty much everything on beyond in terms of making videos. So you can choose clips, templates, you can add your own characters, you can upload audio, you can do music, you can change text. You can customize colors, all of that. I've shown you pretty much all of it. Now, if you want in-depth like tutorials on a specific feature or specific part, I'll leave a link to it in the playlist down below. You can check that out if you want to. I've got multiple tutorial videos, but that is pretty much how you can start creating videos on Beyond. Remember to get the free trial. I'll leave a link now. I won't leave a link in the description, but you can just click right here on the website itself. It's pretty straightforward. And that is pretty much it. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, then make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then I'll see you next time. Have a good day.